James, meet your uncle Lucas. Hi. How weird is this? Leah's gone and has a baby here instead. I've missed your dad. Come here. Miss you too. So much. And I'm so sorry I couldn't visit you. Dad, you were in a coma. I was so scared I wasn't going to see you, so. You don't get rid of me that easy. Hey, there's my favorite nephew. Come here. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, thank you for asking my dad for me. Oh. Yeah, we'd be lost without your Auntie Lee. Kill me. <laughs> and I don't tell her enough how much I appreciate her. <laughs> how are you? How's the bump? Yeah, both doing really good. <laughs> Although I can't wait to be able to see my toes again. How mad is it that they won't say who the dad is? Besides, what waste of space wouldn't want to know this one, yeah? We're better off without him anyway. OK, listen. <sighs> Are you and Grace? I'll go make you some food. Dad, actually, I was going to go see Dylan. But I'm really nervous, to be honest, and... Oh, listen, that boy, he adores you. He was so good to Alia as well while she was pregnant. He would be buzzing to see you. Is that right? Yeah, of course. Go. <laughs> Before you do... I can't imagine how hard the last 12 months have been for you. Like a nightmare. But you are ready to put it behind you now, yeah? I promise. Wow, that was a mistake. Why risk hurting Lucas to tell him the truth? Yeah, definitely don't tell Lucas that his nephew was a mistake. You know, I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> Leah didn't want anyone to know. I'd be betraying her too by telling Lucas, you know. Oh, Dylan! <sighs> I saw how emotional you were the other day when you held your baby. Why are you so interested? Because I care about Lucas. And you. And I am just trying to be a good mate. <sighs> Feels like it. Look, I know what keeping a secret can do to you. It can make you hate yourself. I had to lie to the people I cared about for years about what JJ was doing to me. Frankie, I'm so sorry that happened to you. All right, but I love Lucas. And he was barely behind bars before you were making moves on his sister. We were drunk and lonely. And she was the only other person who knew what I was going through. Right. It was one time. Dylan. Never gonna leave you again. Just like everything we talked about on the phone. You know, I can't wait to get all these DJs fully booked out. You know, I think this will be quite a cool place for people just to hang out. Yeah, sounds amazing. <laughs> and all those times that you visited and we couldn't even hold hands. Sorry, it's not pathetic. <laughs> no. No, you don't. I'm not gonna lie, talking to you on the phone and counting down the days were the only things that got me through it. You all right? What's wrong? Um, there's, there's something I need to tell you. Um, like what? Uh, something happened. Why are you away? It's fine, tell me. Glad you're home. I'm not stuck in that place, but... Uh, I've 
Hilf doch. Hilf da. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm sorry. Hey, Dylan. Lucas, not again, please. Do you know how hard it was for me to come out to you? You know, Carter telling me I'd go to hell. I did that for you. No, I said I'm sorry. I know we can work this out because I've read your letters every night. You telling me how it made you feel the first time that we kissed. That was you. No, of course it was me. But you told me to stay out of trouble and I did. Every night I'd just ignore the punches, the sly digs, the people spitting in my food. You were the only person I've ever loved. So please don't leave me. Please. I meant what I said. We're done, I'm sorry. Lucas, come on. Oi! Lucas! Don't you walk away from me. Lucas, get off me. Lads, that's Lucas, enough. let go of him. <clears throat> hey, Lucas! You've only just got out of prison. Do you want to go straight back there? What do you expect with you as a dad? I thought I said I'd call you if there were any updates. There you go. Careful, people might stop to think you care. Consider it sorry for Lucas. No thanks for helping me, even though I kicked off at you yesterday. Well, I'll give you one thing. Being with you is never dull. I didn't expect you to break up with him. What twist did I have? Better to break his heart than to have him hate me and his sister. Because what if I did tell him the truth? Baby James would grow up with his own uncle resenting him. I made Lyra a promise. Frankie, you can't tell him the truth. I won't. Uh, Dylan? Are you going to tell us why you and our Lucas are fighting? Dylan told me what happened. Nothing you want to say to Rex? What is wrong with you, Lucas? That like going around punching people, it's not how we deal with things, is it? How do you deal with things, Dad? You two a little thing now? I'm helping your dad with the baby and getting around. That's all. But for what it's worth, I know that Dylan's been counting the days till you came home. But you give him time. He might just come back around. Anyway. Give you some space. I'm sorry that I shouted at you. <clears throat> and I'm um, sorry about Dylan. Is this the part where you told me to give it some time? Maybe sleep on it as well. I wish I believed that. Dad, how am I supposed to go on without him? Come here. I know that it hurts, OK? Having our hearts broken is the risk that we take when we fall for someone. But I'm telling you now, when you do meet the right guy, all the pain that it took to get there will be worth it, I promise. I don't want anyone else. I only want him. I'm telling you right now, something's wrong with Dylan. I can't we'll find out what. See, things couldn't be going better. You know, he's still pretty raw, but now his kid's back, that should keep him busy. And so far, he's accepted everything I've told him. As far as Steve's concerned, James Nightingale is dead and buried. So why tell him any different? 